Hey Aquarius, we're on another round of what's going on this month, basically. So, I'm just gonna, I didn't feel like doing a Celtic Cross again, so I think I'm just gonna go with what's your main thing you got going on right now, and kind of just see what we need to do from there with the reading. Um, so, this can, I don't really think, I'm recording this in August, but I'm like, meh. You could watch this, and this could be a past energy for you, just like a reflection tool. This could be a heads up for future thing. You could be going through it now, so whenever you watch it is whenever you watch it. You know, I I just don't think that this could be, um, this has to be set in stone for only August. So, but people like the monthly predictions, so I'm trying to do them monthly. But I'm just bringing out my thoughts on how I'm going to do them and my intentions and all that. So these are general readings. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And also, feel free if your sun sign doesn't resonate for you to check out um, your rising, moon, Mercury, Mars, or Venus. See if those uh, resonate in... If not, maybe I'm just not getting you this time. And there's plenty of other good readers on YouTube. Um, and if you do like my video, please support the channel. Like, I, I would like to grow it on here. Um, so please, you know, comment, like, subscribe. All that stuff really makes my day, you know. So anyway, I think that's my intro. I think I said got everything out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading, Aquarius. Thanks for being here. Okay, I have to stop here. <laughs> I, I've been sitting here going through the scene, and I'm like, am I sure? Am I sure? Why, why do I have to have this whole uh, story? Because um, I'm like, it kind of looks like, you know, we have this breakup, possibly divorce with justice on here. Um, I'm just like... Well, there's, there's certain elements to this. It's like, I mean, she looked pregnant in the Five of Tides and the Empress is on here. But I asked Spirit and they said, no, this isn't about pregnancy. So, yeah. And it, there's just so much going on. And when I saw this Seven of Tides, which is like the Seven of Cups, I felt like I was going to throw up. Like, the options aren't even good. Right? And... I went back to this judgment card, and I'm just like, I'm realizing I'm not telling you my process at all. I'm sorry, I'm going to get to it, but so the judgment reverse kind of makes me think that you are regretting a decision that you made, possibly re revolving around a divorce. Um, you may be thinking you were a little rash, maybe. There could have been cheating involved in this, but I think... You're a little nostalgic on the past, and it just feels like the options really aren't that good. And it kind of makes you think, before whatever this is, this could have been cheating. Um, Because the Jester of Fire does have like a... I, Jester's new to me, so I did look up the definition, and it can be a distraction or seduction as well. Just like a really um, fun type of energy. So it it can be positive, but... Like with the Empress reversed and the Ace of Wands justifying or justifying, clarifying the Justice card. I'm just like, eh, it's kind of like, was there like cheating there? And it's like there also could have just been this explosion of anger and outrage and just like, nah, it's done. Like, um, we're serving the divorce. Um, and it's just like... I think there's a question, if it's not divorce, is a question of, was the situation, it was fair, how, was the consequences actually fair? I, and I don't know, if someone cheated, maybe it was fair to leave them, but I, oh, okay, so there's the weighing, I think there's a weighing of good and bad, because, like, you were really hurt in this situation, right, with that five of tides, there's a lot of fives, right, I think you were felt put out in the cold, like emotionally, physically, physically, okay, I'll go with that, mentally, um, maybe financially too, like it felt like a lot of this just took a toll on you, really hurt you, 
And I think you're kind of in a nostalgic place. I think you've been kind of isolated and just kind of doing it yourself, handling your business, handling yourself here. And you've been doing a good job. I think you're independent financially right now. And you're just, you're at a good point for yourself. But like emotionally, I think you're kind of going back and forth, but kind of thinking about how much they hurt you and how much like a past person really... um meant a lot to you how much fulfillment you got out of the relationship and you may be wondering what the hell even happened if this was a major fight if this was a blow up maybe this with the ace of wands and the jester of fire maybe this was just kind of explosive myths that kind of seemed to come out of nowhere like i said i'm kind of like maybe with uh the empress kind of being like um about venus and love and all that i'm kind of uh, it kind of made me think cheating on there a little bit. Now, I I kind of feel like with judgment, you're reversed. I'm going to take the reversal as like a fear to actually think to put energy back into the situation and maybe breathe life back into it to resurrect it and try to see if it can work again. Um, I think there is fear, and I think that comes from the look of looking at, okay, how much did they hurt you versus how much... It's like you have a pros and cons list of like how amazing things were and how much they hurt you type of thing. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm kind of like maybe exes are just exes for a reason. I don't know. But then again, maybe people reconcile and do things well. I think if you just come... I think it's fair to say that, like, especially with the judgment being here, if you don't bring a new energy to it, if you don't have new boundaries, if you don't have better communication, if you don't... Whatever it was, if you don't address the issue, and if it just... I feel like you may be doomed to... um, doomed to repeat the pattern and it it may start off great again and you may just the not saying you have to hold on to the past and always hold it all over someone's head but like I don't think you I think there was a separation for a reason and that probably needs to be addressed one way or another or if it has to be boundaries or whatever, you know, um, but I'm not saying do it, I'm not saying don't do it, but I do say that, like, it it was funny, now I'm getting to where I was, like, thinking, oh, man, I I think, just thinking about everyone, all the options you have kind of got sick, like, and I think you're really stuck on this nostalgic past, and the love card popped out, right, so, I don't think I've said signs yet. Taurus, Libra, Libra, um, so a couple of Libras. Jester or Fire, I think there's two cards that kind of replace the Knights in this. So I'm going to say that's Leo because Knights are like fixed signs for me. Um, And then we have Scorpio. I say Gemini. Um, Have all of those. So could have been dealing with those. It doesn't have to be that though. But um, I do with this love card... Um, it was a very special connection, and you probably still have a lot of strong feelings for them, obviously. Um, I think there's just a lot of pain that you're working through, right? Um, and being an Aquarius, you probably don't want to admit that, right? But everyone thinks Aquarius are so, like, unemotional and emotionally distant. Like, you guys just don't always feel comfortable talking about it. Like... (laughs) Um, you know, just like anyone else. So, where do we want to, are we ready for an outcome of this? Do we need a, uh, mm, how do we want to, sorry, I'm trying to think. I, I should do these live so you guys can... I, I wonder if anyone would come watch me live. I don't have a big following. <laughs> um, just being real, you know. But I'm like, it would be nice to, like... 
what do you guys think? Like, and have a reaction. Because I'm like, should I do a... Um, should I do how they feel? Should I just do, like, an outcome of the situation? If Because it kind of feels like you want to reach out and you just want to know how that's going to play out, basically. So I guess how they feel, how how it would play out would kind of be similar. Do I want to keep using this deck? Or I feel like I want to use a different deck. Let me get my shit together. I'm going to pause for a second. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep using this deck. I don't know why I'm paused at all. Get some pauses and get some parts. So I'm just trying to talk why shuffle. Part of the reason I don't shuffle too much because I need to get a better table and shaking the camera a little bit and try not to do that too much. But you could be dealing with a water sign, maybe maybe an Aries. Um, so water signs that would be Pisces, Scorpio, um, I'm missing one. Cancer. But it kind of seems like I kind of, I think these kind of go together, right? The two of wands reverse and the emperor. I think the emperor feels like they learned from the past and they're doing what they need to do to move on. I think whoever this is, is trying to get their shit together, trying to move on, trying to um, just, they need that stability in their life. Basically, they just, they need to, I don't think they can, like, how, how am I trying to say this? It's like, it may have hurt and it may be done, but like, since it's done and they have to move on, they're going to move on. It's kind of the energy with it. Um, so they're like, okay, so we're going to take what we can learn from this. And we're going to move on. We're going to see what's next. And we're going to grow. Now, that, that of course, is assuming that's the positive of the Emperor. That was kind of the vibe I was getting. Um, I mean, the negative could always be they're fucking pissed at you and they're not going to talk to you regardless. But I kind of got the positive because... Uh, well, I mean, I guess it could go either way. You never know. But I think either way, you're going to have to be the one to open up communication and roll the dice to find out. Basically, um, I did, maybe I should, I think I want to get a clarifier. Like, are we on more of the positive? I mean, it came out reverse, so I think we're on that. But that page of cups, I think... You're going to have to be the one to, yeah, yeah, seven of cups. I think they're just, okay, what are my options? And I don't think they see you as a choice with the two of wands. So they're just picking up the shit and moving on, you know? Um, I think that's what the thing is. This did feel like past energy. And I feel like this is a person that's just like, I don't want to deal with maybes. So... You said we broke up. This is a no now. So, well, what am I doing with my life now? Kind of thing. You know, and with the Page of Cups being here, it felt like if you want any answers, you're going to have to reach out to them. So with the Seven of Cups, I do think that they're still exploring their options, maybe seeing what they want to do. I, I don't think... They're committed to anything yet now. And with the four of coins, I do feel like that's reversed. I think they're letting go, potentially, of control and just... They're trying to level up, basically. So... Honestly, I think you'd have to put your hat in the ring. Um... You may have competition with that Seven of Cups. I think they're just trying to let things go. That's what this feels like to me. I think they are trying to let things go. Yeah. And 
they may just be, they may be out making friendships, celebrating with friends, having, just trying to have a good time. And with that 10 of Pentacles, they may be focused on more of their career. Maybe uh, they may be very ambitious, especially with the Emperor. Maybe they're trying to level up. Maybe they're trying to get promoted. Maybe they're trying to make their own business here. But I... I think they're just, I think right now, they're just trying to have a good time, basically. And with the Three of Cups, that can have, like, friend connotations. And with the Seven of Cups, I kind of don't think they're tied down right now. So, hold on. Well, anything... Oh, I don't like how they clump. Okay. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to take it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was going to say shoot your shot, and then we got the page of swords. Like, yeah, I think you'll just have to shoot your shot. Let's see what that, how will they react to you shooting your shot? Okay. So I don't see them having the best reaction. Like, it's not a no. It's not a no. See, they also have the judgment reversed, right? Like you had that earlier. Um, they may be a little afraid to do it. I think with the Queen of Swords here, uh, you may be dealing with a Libra. Don't have to be. But I think, maybe it's in your chart. I don't know. But um, I think they may hear you out. But they're like, this just looks defensive to me. Like, I'll hear you out. Like, you can talk. But, like, I may cut you off at any second, right? Like, she's just ready to slash. Like, she may say what she got to say. And I'm just saying she because it's Queen of Swords. Um, she may say what she got to say at any time. And she may just be like, oh, here's what I got to say, right? Bam. Um, you know, it, it does have a little bit of a defensiveness. It's cautious. It's not really sure. And I think a lot of it comes from, like, this whole fear because they once saw this as a great opportunity and it's something that left them out in the cold, that they just, that hurt them. Maybe financially, but I, I'm kind of like, I think this really affected them, gave them a lot of anxiety and maybe they lost out... Did they lose out on potential opportunities because of this? Why would they lose out on potential opportunities because of this? I don't know. Maybe I'm wording that wrong. Because it feels like... Hmm. Maybe it's like worried about the uh, validity of the offer because of the rejection of the past. There's a lot of concern about, like, bringing it back. It, it's not a no. Like, it's like, I'll hear you out, and there's kind of an emotional detachment, and, like, there is some anxiety and nervousness, but... So, it's not a no, but it's it's not, like, a excited yes or anything. So, I guess this is kind of up to you. How much do you want them back? Are you, like, for real about wanting them back? Because this person's going to need some convincing. Um, right? I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. But, you, you know, you may have to talk some shit out. You may have to talk some shit out and have some reassurance. Because I, I think they're suspicious. That's kind of what that looks like to me. So, I guess it's up to you. That's kind of what that reading looked like to me. So, anyway, I think we're done. If that reading resonates and you liked it, please give me a like. Maybe a follow. Um, anyway, y'all have a great day.